Well, that'll have to do, I guess. I'd like to catch the buyer at head office who picked out these gems. You don't think they'll sell? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll sell them, all right. I'm a branch manager because I know how to move lines that no one else could give away. Now, listen, Jim, we've got these things and we're going to sell them. Frankly, I think they look terrible. Frankly, that's not our decision. The shoes are on the shelves and it's our job to sell them. That won't be easy. Most women will think they're ugly, too. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Women like to think they're up on the latest styles, but not too many really are. A lot of women just don't have the time to keep up with the latest fads and fashions. Ah, but watch out for the young ones, though. They're more aware, more hip to the latest trends. In any case, just tell them we're selling this style by that carload. They'll be eager. They like sheep. Come on, let's uh, check over the stock. Well, we have a pretty complete stock here, as you can see. But from time to time, you'll run into a situation where we won't have the right size and a style the customer wants. Can we take an order and call the customer? Uh, yes, we could. But we don't. You don't want to give them a chance to cool off. Jim, never, but never give a customer a chance to think it over outside this store. Believe me, you'll lose a sale almost every time. Now, if we want to look good downtown at the head office, every customer who comes in should go out that door with a pair of shoes under her arm. But what if a customer decides on a certain style and we don't have her size? Pull the switch. The switch? Sure, sure. Tell her that the style she wants is on its way out. Feel sorry for her, but be sincere. Tell her confidentially that you have the newest style, one that would suit her much, much better. But how do I know? I'm no expert on women's styles. Uh, you don't have to know. Just act like you know. What if a customer doesn't know what she wants? Easily just overwhelm her with the slowest moving styles in stock. Oh, and don't forget, this is the one we're pushing this week. Not bad, Chuck. You're starting to get the hang of it. Just remember, each department has a separate letter code, eh? Uh, Non-food, grocery, meat, produce, and so forth. And each one has to be punched in order that we credit that department, okay? Let's have a look around. Now, it's important, Chuck, to the manager of each department that he receives credit for every sale. Each man has a weekly uh, quota to make up. Now, if he exceeds that quota, he gets a bonus. That's his incentive to sell as much as he can. Well, what happens if he doesn't make his quota? Well, he finds another job. <laughs> Still, it's not as uh, tough as you might imagine. These uh, quotas aren't uh, pegged up so high that a man can't make it if he pays attention to the work. Now, I'm on a bonus myself. There's a very good feature for you in this, Chuck, if you want to pay attention to the job. I've seen all the angles and invented one or two of my own. She says it's too tight. Don't we have a right size? When I checked the back room. She needs a half a size larger. What about the next full size? Too loose. OK, OK, I'll see what I can. Excuse me. I understand we're having a bit of a problem. Do you mind if I see how it fits? Yeah, a little tight right about there, eh? Yes. OK, I'll see what I can do. Excuse me. I really like those shoes. I hope you can help me. Oh, I'm sure we will. I think this should do it. What did you do to them? I uh, stretched them a bit in the instep. <laughs> now, how does that feel? Yes, I'll take them. Ah, <laughs> good. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, thanks very much. Bye-bye Bye-bye. 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 I thought you'd shown me everything in the shop. I don't remember any stretching machine. Must be really handy. A <laughs> stretching machine? Jim, that's the oldest gag in the business. The stretching machine's up here. There's no such thing. Listen, if a customer's really interested in buying a pair of shoes, you'll buy them even if they don't fit.
Now, there'll be a guy in here tomorrow from a nursing home. I want to see he's taken care of. It's always a big sale. Now, when you ring his stuff up, you charge him twice for some of the larger items. But that's overcharging. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could look at it that way. This guy always buys a lot of stuff. You see, the buyer and the store manager have a little uh, agreement. We charge a little extra on the bill and uh, helps the store meet its quota. I don't mind. Helps me make my quota, too. But aren't you afraid of getting caught? Ah, come on, Chuck. This arrangement's been going on a lot longer than I've been working here. Now, smarten up. Ah, the home doesn't know the difference. Besides, we're only following orders. Yeah. But I'm the guy punching the keys. Uh, what do you got to lose? That's the way things are. Now, they pay off here for results. Now, that goes for us, too. You start kicking about patting the bill, or I start to gripe about it, the boss just goes out and finds somebody else who'll do it. Man, are those ghastly. I'd rather see my girl go barefoot. <laughs> That's our hottest number. You're kidding. Salesmanship is making a believer out of the customer. That's the gospel, according to Mr. Daniels. And how you do it doesn't matter, even if you have to cheat a little. You too. I just found out the other day the managers have a nice, cozy racket going on where I work. So you see, I don't know what to do. Be crooked to keep my job. Well, at least with a stretching machine, but it doesn't involve stealing. Still dishonest, right? Cheating's cheating as far as I can see. You know what happened today? They caught one of the guys in the store walking out with two cans of salmon in his pocket. They canned him. Right on the spot, they canned him. So? He was stealing, right? Well, what do you call what the managers are doing? They steal from the nursing home and call it good business. Where do you draw the line anyway? Well, what are you going to do about it? Quit? Part-time jobs are too hard to find.